Ricky Rotato won a close vote last time, winning by just a 1% margin. Redistricting hasn't changed this district much, and voters in Alabama's County could see another close race. That I ran on a message um, bringing our community together because I believe there's more that unites us than divides us. Ricky Hurtado says the challenge in Alamance County is to rebuild trust in government. He denies claims made by his opponent, Steve Ross, who calls him a, quote, extremist. I'm not quite sure um, what that means or what he means. Um, I have made it my sole mission here in Alamance County to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And I think people like Stephen Ross are the problem that continue to pay politics on really important issues as opposed to thinking about a community that has experienced so much tension over the years, racial tension uh, between communities. Ertado says like many communities across the country, Alamance County continues to grapple with the question of how to move forward as a multiracial society. We asked him about the Confederate monument in the center of Graham. I think it symbolizes so much of the racial tension here in Alamance County that continues to perpetuate um, mistrust, I believe, in, in so many different issues. I've always been in favor of finding a better place for it. So moving it uh, into a more appropriate place like a museum that could tell the story, right? You oppose the uh, legislation forcing police chiefs, shouldn't say that, just but sheriffs, police, to work with ICE. Mm -hmm. Why? This piece of legislation actually doesn't make us safer. And I think for me, when I'm voting on something, I think about that big picture, right? Does this actually make our community safer? And for me, I landed on no. What do you want to see happen regarding the uh, reproductive rights of women mm -hmm. in North Carolina? For me, my position on this issue is, is rather straightforward and, and, and simple, and that's that issues of reproductive health and health care when it comes to uh, a woman's body should be left up to a woman and her family and her doctor. I've been dismayed at the extremism and a Republican Party that has continued to want to dictate how families make decisions. Medical marijuana and recreational, where do you stand? Yeah, great question. Um, I'm in support of both. The fact of the matter is, is that it is being legalized every year in states all around North Carolina. I think it's time to move forward and make sure that we also make up for some of the challenges in the past of how we've criminalized this issue and making sure that we are um, doing right by folks who um, have been put in our criminal justice system for something that now will be legalized. You support sports gambling here, sports betting? I voted against the Sports Betting Act um, and that was a, a difficult conversation with many stakeholders. For me, there was uh, less benefit than there were consequences for something like sports betting. Do you support the concealed carry permit that North Carolina currently has, but there have been repeated efforts to get rid of? I have repeatedly voted against repealing uh, concealed carry permits in North Carolina. I think gun violence and gun safety is a big issue across our communities, and we need to be making efforts to make it safer to be a part of these communities and not more dangerous. Ricky Rotato says he's most proud of his efforts to make life a bit more affordable for working families. He faces Steve Ross in a rematch from 2020 in the upcoming midterm. Bill O'Neill, WXII. 12 News. And you will hear from Steve Ross in just a few minutes. A quick reminder, you will find all of these candidates' profiles after they air on the WXII 12 app and website. Just look for the politics page under the News tab.